got the little BMW. Little thing's clean. All right, well, it's Monday morning. I didn't do freaking nothing over the weekend. It rained on me. I was trying to get the S10 done. It still ain't ready for dig or die or nothing. I was trying to get it ready. And I ended up going through and uh, was trying to get the exhaust on. Got it welded up <clears throat> and the rain came. And then yesterday it freaking poured down all day. So I literally stayed on the couch all day long. I didn't do a whole lot of nothing but just sit on the couch. Right, let's pull over here and go look at this Dodge truck that we're supposed to uh, do a water pump on real quick. Got this old Dodge right here. I got to pull the pulley off of it. Get in here and get these water pump bolts loose. Change the water pump, put a thermostat on it. Put the hoses back up. I'll be on back to the house. Well, we got that one done. So I drove the S10 up here to the cat scales. See what it weighs. What do y'all guess? Guess below what y'all uh, think the last 10 weighs with aluminum LS in it or whatnot. I'm going to go inside and get this ticket, get some gas. It had a uh, about an eighth of a tank of fuel in it. So last time I weighed it was 2960 without a driver. That was uh, tailpipes, a different, that was a different exhaust, iron block, and all that. So that's what the weight of it was. Now we're at 2780. So we've lost uh, about 100, what is it, 180 pounds off of it. Not a bad weight loss. Fix the water pump and all in here, this thing ain't got no heat in it. I'm gonna service it, but I figure before I even start on it, just clean the crunchy things up. Look at this thing. Put the down and it's still a little bit with it. Got a little better than it does. It's been sitting a long time. It ain't perfect. Oh, Lord, it looks a lot better than it. Look at that fire wall. A heck of a lot better. Size of the hood. So I was working on this thing. I decided let's go ahead and flush the heater core while we at it. Here, look at the stuff coming out of this heater core from it sitting. It's right here. I can get it up in there. Oh, I can't get it one handed, but. Oh, let's see. You can see the junk there. That's the stuff coming out. I'm going to flush it real quick. Plates I seen come out, I decided to go ahead and must wash the motor and the radiator out too while we at it. So I'm back to flush it. Go back the other way and see if we can get all the contaminants out of it until it's getting clear. Got that one done. Time to pick mine back up. Pick on back home. Look at this tailgate I got. Got a little spot right there. I got my fix. Looks like a little edge. But like I said, I got this tailgate. This truck's an 85. So I picked this up yesterday. It was pretty decent on there, I think. Once I sand it and paint it, it's gonna look pretty good. So we're half inch studded on this side. So now let's go to the other side and do the other side real quick. I feel like the stars align the way they need them to align. You know I mean, I'm, I'm a true believer in karma. I believe what goes around comes around. I believe fake, fake friends are only here for a short while. Family's here forever. And just because you're family don't mean that you gotta be blood. You can be family with people. A person I will fight with, you can consider that being my family. A person I would fight with, I would die with. You know what I mean? Just the way I believe, it's the way I've always believed my whole life the way I've always been. You know, my dad raised me on morals and the morals he raised me on made me into the man I am. I'm not a cheater. I'm not a liar. I'm not a fence jumper. I don't jump fences to people I ride with to the people I ride with. If, you know, if I, if, I, if, if I can call you at 2 o'clock in the morning, that means you can call me at 2 o'clock in the morning if you need me. It's just kind of how I've always been. It's just it's the way I believe. I don't think, I think it's kind of in your DNA, you know. There's certain people that's going to come along, they're going to be there for a little bit, but they're going to move on somewhere else. they just there trying the next ladder. Like the enemy's racing, they got me a shirt or whatever, and it's a ladder, and it has a snake wrapped on every step up to it. And what Jamie explained to me, he said, you know, he said, every level in this game that you step up to, 
You're going to have snakes. You're going to have enemies. There's enemies everywhere. Every level to the game, you've got enemies. So some of them's in your own backyard. You know, I keep my grass cut clean, low. That way I don't step on those snakes. I don't keep a lot of friends. I, I keep a lot of family. So I come down here, it's an X5, the white one behind me. And hell, she turns the light on and it's working. The fog lights are working. She flips the switch on, she's like, I said, man, your lights are working. I said, I can swap the love if you want me to. I said, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I said, so if you need me, just holler at me. So it is what it is. Let's go back to Lincoln. Pretty nice park over here. And uh, it's Teens Mountain. It looks like a pretty big, pretty good size over here. I like where the road layout is. Looks like they got soccer fields and all that stuff right there. Pretty nice, all the lights and stuff. So. About 8 o'clock this morning. I have a, uh, I had to go take Tim. I brought him home, he's got a little S10. I'm gonna do a heater core in real quick this morning. Knock it out. And then I gotta go through and run to Lowe's. Get some threaded rods, so I can bolt some of his weight down the back of the S10. I gotta go through and uh, bolt the weight in the S10, take the S10 over knives after lunch, get it tuned. Come back for getting it tuned, I gotta swap the back tires out on it. Then I gotta go through and take the trailer, swap the tire out on the trailer I blowed out the other day. And I got some wire and I gotta rewire on the trailer and put the trailer lights all, all before tomorrow. And that way I can uh, have the trailer ready. And then this afternoon, me and James Rawley, we're gonna get his truck ready. We're gonna take them out, we're gonna do some testing with them, see how they do. And then we gotta load up and get ready for tomorrow. And then after lunch tomorrow, around lunch time tomorrow, we gotta head to dig or die. I'm gonna put some oil in this thing too, just beeping. I gotta go through, you know, we gotta go to Digger Die, but we're gonna leave probably around maybe lunchtime. That way we can get there a little bit early and get signed in and all that. Get stuff ready and hopefully we have a good a good outing tomorrow with the little trucks. Now ride with me, let's get this heater more done real quick. Get your buff out. back wired my lights got my lights hooked up out there got my trailer tire on right here where you gotta put it up on this hill so I can crawl underneath it we're on the wires to get tucked in okay your racker brought me a quarter glass one for the Mustang I got bolt in once I get the quarter panel finished up on it and all I got to get working on that let's head over night to get this thing on the dyno today we got my streetcar wheels and we got Jan Crawley's Pro Mod wheels right here you know it's tell the difference in a Pro Mod streetcar because Pro Mod got the deeper dish on them but anyways, I'm gonna come over here. Got my new valve stems. Gonna put my new valve stems in. I'm gonna put my wheels on here, the tires back on it, and get them back together real quick. So we got the valve stems on here. Put some metal ones on it this time. So these are the enemies. These are the Mac Fab I used to have on. Not not a bad unit. Like I said it's not bad. It, Mac Fabs are decent looking, but that's the difference. Styles. These are more like a whale wheel style, kind of like those wheels right there. See how the welds have the up and down, plus this, like I said, these have lightning pockets in them. There's a lightning up and all that around it. They also got the extra little bit of uh, grip on them where we didn't have none on them, which it was well, very minimum, but it's little stuff. These are all TIG welded with titanium bolts. The titanium bolts are the sweetest part. They, uh, they look really good on here. So we're going to pull this off. I'm going to teach y'all how to put a tire on here. Start by pulling all your uh, bolts out of it. These are 8 uh, mm 12 points. So again, like I said, these right here, I couldn't do doubles because the inside of the barrel is too thick here because this tire has to go on here. And when it goes on here, this lip stays outside. Well, you'll never be able to stretch it from here. We'll say like from this edge here 
to here, you'll never be able to stretch that tire that distance to get that tire outside. So you could put this on the inside to put the ring around it. But to go through and uh, put a tire on it, all you do is take it, throw it down on there like this, around it. Let's do it with one leg. Like that. That's literally all it is. Now you'll come through and make sure you get this right on the outside of the lip around through there. And once you get on the lip, we'll start, we'll put the ring back on it and we'll start jumping across around, snugging it down, and then we'll torque it about 22 inch or 22 feet down at the very end. It was a little easier than normal to get the tire over, I guess, because it's like this has a bigger lip on it. It slid over pretty easily. So now we'll just start all these by hand. Once you get them all started, we'll go down there and start running across from side to side. And like I said, we'll end up torquing them and uh, make sure they're tight. I right, see so you just keep going around it. Going tighter and tighter for those seats completely down. I need to get them polished. Probably take them somewhere and have somebody do polish them for me on the inside and out. I'm gonna fill them up. The back seat. 